welcoming you to the art of shoe making. Even the finest manufacturing process will turn inappropriate. If the materials being processed are inadequate in quality, good leather is indispensable to making premium shoes. Today, most hides come from the bovines, cows and the ovines, sheep and goats. The hides mostly come from animals raised for their meat and are a byproduct of the industry. The art of creating modern leather shoes requires one of the prime technological advances that the process demands, the process of tanning which continues to be evolving. Tanning turns the hide into leather by altering the protein structure of the skin to make it more durable and less susceptible to decomposition. With the invention of modern leather tanning and leather processing, it has become possible to cut and mold the hides of animals and creating the finest leather footwear. Since we started our Clarks India services, our sourcing operations in India in 2010, the first thing what we did is recruited very competent team with the right attitude. The second thing what we did is we chose the right partners, right factories to work along with us. The third thing what we did is brought the transparency in the costings. Leather's supply chain is complex and the production is a parallel process across countless of countries and suppliers. We at Clarks, with comprehensive competence in the field, own the entire supply chain and have complete control over the leather sourced by us to ensure that the sourced leather matches every requirement of Clarks quality. The first set of, uh, step of developing a product is to get the design briefs. The design brief has got all the details like uh, the collection, history of the shoes and the current trend the colors, etc. And also the, the main thing is the target price. So based on the design brief, so we, we decide which factory is going to make the development. And uh, next step is to get the design from the designer actually. So we work with the, uh, the PD engineer from Onso and we get the uh, design and the specs from them and we start uh, creating the product. Actually. So we, we, we send the samples every stage. Once it gets approved, so the development product completes. Further to receipt of the seasonal brief from onshore PD team of Clarks, the product development team meticulously plan the strategies for material sourcing and footwear sourcing. The cow rawhide or skin used by us are predominantly being sourced from the countries of Europe, South America and Australia, while sheep skins and goat skins are being predominantly sourced from either India or Africa. The average size of the cow raw hide or skin could vary from 12 to 24 square feet per leather with thickness of 1.1 to 2.2 millimeters which would mean that in order for us to acquire 1 million square feet of leather from the tanneries we would be needing approximately 50,000 hides. On the other hand, the sheep or goat skin would vary from 4.5 to 6.5 square feet each which would mean that sourcing 1 million square feet of leather would need approximately 200,000 sheep or goat skins. We ensure that the leather sourced meets our requirements in terms of quality and its consistency. The key essential of material quality management which the bulk material arriving to the factories. We ensure the materials are coming to the factories are properly tested and meets the Clark standards and all the leathers has been certified by the uh, Satra grading inspectors in, from the LWG uh, tanneries. Once after all the seasonal brief is done, we get all the materials uh, based on the uh, global um, PEDs uh, requirement and uh, we, we ensure the qualities and the standards are made to the requirement. Leather is primarily categorized based on their features as soft crust leather, oil or wax pull-up leather, soft milled leather, suede leather and fancy smooth finished leather. Based on the prevalent fashion trends and expectations of the end consumer, the leather is sourced by Clarks from more than 100 varieties of cow hides approximately and over 50 varieties of sheep and goat skins approximately. Clarks sources leather only from the leather working group. LWG approved tanneries to ensure the precise traceability of the leather 
and to hold comprehensive information of the working environment involved. We are responsible for production and quality of Clarks India sourcing. So our main responsibility is to meet the deliveries and get the right quality to the required standard. The bulk leather, which has been sourced from various continents and countries, are inspected for the quality parameters such as color, thickness and every other characteristic. The checked leather portions are suitably marked and stored appropriately in the designated storage rooms at the right warehouse conditions. The leather is then subjected to die cutting and checked against the patterns. The cut component are skived to the precisely required thickness to confirm that the leather's skived portions interlock fittingly with no underlay X-ray visible. It is also ensured that the components remain pliable without weakening its strength. The cut components are then marked with the approved guide patterns. In the pre-fitting stage, the cut components are first assembled to check the components and are glued together at the skived areas before the stitching process, which includes the tasks of upper stitching, attaching of upper foam, backer, fixing of eyelets and folding. The intricacies of the process calls for the involvement of approximately 65 pair of skilled hands depending upon the style of the footwear being produced. During the stitching stage, first, the pieces composing the upper are sewn together, followed by the lining. In order to reinforce the complete shaft, a counter is added between the upper and lining at the heel and toe puffs are activated and added at the vamp of the uppers. Eyelids are punched in mechanically in such a way that they are invisible from the outside of the shoe and the folding is done. As per the design, the completed uppers are checked for the stitch length, color mismatch, measurement, stamping and embossing against the approved upper design requirements. This is followed by the full shoe assembly process. Predominantly, we employ the cemented moccasin and strobel construction techniques wherein approximately 55 skillful hands are involved during the process. While employing the cemented construction process, the uppers are enlasted with proper molded insoles with four-part lasting, side and seal lasting. In the strobel construction, the uppers are strobel stitched and pre-molded in the forming machine to bring the shape of the footwear. The assembly process primarily includes the processes of back molding, operation of toe lasting, insertion of uppers to the right sizing and fitting of the last. Then, heat setting of the lasted upper to retain and form the right shape is done. The soles outers are then chemical treated and prepared for the bonding process. Further, to machine marking of the gauge line with the precise pressing parameter and the process of roughening the bonding margin of the lasted upper, Adhesive is applied finally as per the approved sole bonding process. The soles are then attached manually and pressed uniformly using iron fox pressing and hydraulic pressing methods. Further to the chilling process, where the shoes are allowed to set in the chiller machine, delasting is done. Then edge cleaning is done to remove adhesive stains at the bonding edges. Based on the design and pattern requirements, injection molding process or Go-Tex technology is employed. The shoes then reach the final finishing process where the shoes are subjected to ironing to smoothen the grains, followed by creaming and brushing to finish the shoes as per the leather pattern criterions. The socks are then attached and appropriate laces are fastened to the shoes further to the final cleaning stage. The shoes are adequately checked for their finish before being ready for the final inspection stage. Daily construction tests are carried on an everyday basis in every respective factory. To ensure that the assurance of quality is measured and followed strictly as per Clark's standards. The packed shoes are then X-ray scanned to secure the product from any extraneous objects. Further to the final acceptable quality level, AQL inspection, the packed shoes are approved for shipping. As we care for our products, we do care for workers who make these shoes. And we will try to audit that the workers are treated well, minimums are paid, and working conditions are respected, and laws of plans are respected and fulfilled. 
we also ensure that the products are produced in a secure and shipped in a safely manner to destination countries. Key function for costing, negotiating the FOB price with supplier, scrutinizing the cost sheet for accuracy, manage the costing timeline, check the allowance to supply some, coordinate with onshore and offshore, suggesting the cost shadows of submission with cost saving measures. Be from order fulfillment, take care of all supply chain and planning activities. Our main three functions are knowing our demand and supply, prioritizing our key channels, working with all our vendors to achieve delivery to commitments. With all the foundations and the investments we have made all these years in India, in terms of people, in terms of factories, in terms of product capabilities, in terms of operational efficiencies. We will continue to give the stability to the business in terms of all the KPIs, either on-time deliveries or quality or more importantly, the product competitiveness. India sourcing will play a pivotal role in coming years as we touch our 200 years celebrations very soon. Shoe making is truly a handcraft and every single pair of shoes produced for clerks are handcrafted with care by over 120 skillful hands. Thank you.